Oxygen XML provides a powerful XSLT debugger that offers a full control over the XSLT debugging process, allowing you to troubleshoot and perfect your style sheets. Oxygen XML offers debugging support for the most commonly used XSLT processors. It allows you to debug XSLT style sheets versions 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. In this demonstration, you will see how you can use Oxygen XSLT debugger to easily find and fix problems in a style sheet. The input file is an XML document which contains a list of books and their prices. We want to list the books which cost more than the average price of all the books in the document. We have already developed a style sheet to do just that, but we want to make sure that it generates a correct output. Now we'll switch to the debugger perspective. First we want to see the current output. We enable the XHTML output format and run the transformation. We notice that the average price is not correctly formatted. To find out what element from the XSL style sheet generated a particular output, click an area in the XHTML or text output view. This will synchronize the output with the input files, both the XML and the XSL style sheet, and the output mapping stack view. This displays the breadcrumb path from the style sheet's entry point to the instruction that generated the output. We format the average price to display only two decimals and run the transformation once more. The average price is now correctly formatted. To make sure that the book list is correctly created, we want to debug the style sheet and check the books that cost less than the average price. Oxygen provides a unique feature called conditional breakpoints that helps you stop the debugging process if a condition is met. A conditional breakpoint can be any expat expression that has as a result a boolean value. We add a condition and run the transformation again. A small marker is placed on the left side of the line where the break condition is met. In the context view, we can see the current book element in a tree-like fashion. We noticed that some of the book prices are expressed in euro, while the average price is in US dollars. We must convert all prices to US dollars. First, we want to know if there are other books that have the price expressed in euros. For this, we will use the XWatch window. The Content Completion Assistant comes in handy when editing export expressions. In the variables view, we can see that the current price and book total variables can hold prices expressed both in euros and US dollars. The debugging process must be stopped if you want to make a modification in the document. We update the style sheet so that all prices are consistently handled in US dollars. We run the transformation again. Now the book list is correctly displayed. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching. Please check Oxygen's user manual for a complete description of the XSLT debugger.